welcome back to Star Trek Expeditions. We're about to begin turn six. It will be Dr. McCoy's turn. And I think we're going to have him uh, go down to the motorcade ambush and see if he can uh, help out the wounded. But before we have to do anything there, the first thing we need to do is draw a Stardate card. And we'll do that now. And we end up getting, okay, nothing in the gold. We're doing the gold level, which would be gold and blue. Uh, so we just do what's in the blue. So the first thing we need to do is uh, advance the star date by one day. So I'll do that. It goes from day three to day four. And it says you must discard one token or lose two clicks. Oh boy, the Nibian uh, leprosy has just taken, a, taken its toll on Dr. McCoy. He's going to have to lose two clicks. He does not have a token to discard. So... He will have to get damaged two more clicks. Uh, he still has a nine on his science, <clears throat> so that's good. He's going to need that for the motorcade ambush. And we see here that he has three actions for this turn. All right, and no Klingon battle cruiser attack, which I like. Okay, so for McCoy's first action, I'm going to have him, of course, move down into the space. Uh, he has two actions left. And I think he's going to draw an energized card in the hopes of getting something that might help him out here. Uh, so he will draw one energized card as his second action. And that is Command Authority. Play to gain three additional actions for this character. Well, that may be a good thing. Uh, I think I'm going to play that right now. He still has one action left, and playing cards does not count as an action. So this is going to give him a total now of four actions. And so with four actions, he's just going to keep drawing energized cards, hoping to get something before he deals with the motorcade ambush. So uh, as one of the remaining four actions, he gets a system bypass, giving a plus three on operations. Doesn't need that. He has three more actions left now. Another Energize card. He gets a Security Officer. Boy, he's getting lots of Operation cards. Not what he needs. He has two more actions left. I'll draw one more Energize card, and then he's going to have to deal with the Motorcade Ambush. So this is the last of his two uh, actions remaining. Tactical Advantage, plus three to any Command Challenge. Well, he didn't get one Science Challenge Energize card out of that whole deal. Uh, so he's just going to have to go in there. And for his last action, he's just going to have to deal with this motorcade ambush on his own. Now, as we recall, uh, McCoy has the double medical here, which means he gets to add plus four uh, to the task. And this task here, let's take a look at it again, um, is the motorcade ambush. And he has to save as many of the wounded as, as he can. And it has the medical keyword on it here. Uh, so he will get a plus four. It's a science challenge. So we're starting off. McCoy has a base science right now after taking all those hits of nine, which is still pretty, pretty high. And he's going to get plus four for his medical skills. So he gets to roll two white dice. And he's going to get a seven. 11. So he gets an 11, but because he rolled the 7, uh, he must reduce himself one click. So that's an 11. Uh, plus the 9 he has is 20. And plus the 4 is 24. So he easily uh, looks after the wounded, although he took a little damage uh, while doing it. And so he completes the first of one of the uh, Rebel missions, Rebel 1. And he has completed it on day four. So it is long before day seven. So we get the best benefit here. It says, you save most of the victims. And their testimony offers clues as to where the rebels are operating from. And as we can see here, their next rebels card is going to be 2A. And we get plus three on the rebel score track. So that is a completed mission. Excellent job. And I'm just going to adjust the camera here, and we will take a look at the score track and reveal the next Rebel card, uh, which will be 2A. Okay, so I've adjusted the camera. So this is the Rebels uh, score tracker right here, and it is going to advance three spaces for completing that first Rebel challenge. So it goes one, two, three. It's still in the first box here, uh, but we have more Rebels uh, cards to deal with. Now, this, is this, this was the placeholder 
uh, Rebels card. Now what we're going to do with this is we are going to replace it with 2A because that is the next uh, Rebels mission. And so we have here 2A. Again, these are the thick cardboard uh, main mission cards. So 2A, we'll have a look at this one. Um, and it's the Rebel Headquarters. You lead an away team to the Rebel base only to find several Klingons advising the Rebels. A little bit tougher mission. We need transportation and Rebel items would help us as well. And this needs to be completed on or before day 11. And it says capture the Klingons and destroy the Rebel base. Uh, so we need to do that on or before day 11. Probably the person to do that would be the one with the highest command skill, which of course would be Captain Kirk. Okay, that uh, concludes uh, Bones' turn. Uh, that was turn six. Join me next time for, I guess we're going to get right back to Captain Kirk. Maybe he can come down, take out the Rebel headquarters. Uh, maybe not, but we'll find out. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. That was turn six. Join me next time for Star Trek Expeditions Turn 7. Thanks for watching.